Hey, what's up guys? Me, David, back with another video, and today we're gonna be talking about the Razer Hammerhead USB-C ANCs, and this is my six-month review. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna notice when you open the box of the Hammerhead ANCs is the incredible looking design. I mean, just from a design perspective alone, it had a huge value, and when I was picking the earphones out, that was one of the main reasons why I got them. The design on these is an all aluminum body. It's just incredibly high quality feeling. And it has a light up LED Razer logo. Of course, other than design, one of the main things I was also looking for was ANC. The reason I got these earphones, even though I have another pair that's a little cheaper, is because I needed ANC on my commute to school. The bus is super loud and I had to pump up the music to like almost max volume just to be able to hear it properly and still it wasn't a good listening experience. So for things like audiobooks, I just could not hear anything at all. The sound was extremely loud from the bus and so I needed to get ANC headphones to cancel all that noise out so I could protect my hearing and just hear stuff better in general. So to turn the ANC features on, you just need to flip the switch open and then the ANC will turn on and there will be a blue LED light that will act tell you that the ANC feature is activated. It cuts out about like 60% of like deep rumbling sounds and more of the white noise type of sounds. So it has a significant impact, but it's not going to be nearly as effective as other headphones like Bose or Sony you're going to be cancelling out 80% or above of those deep rumbling sounds that get in the way of music. Still, for me, it was a dramatic difference, and for $90, I believe this is the cheapest ANC headphones that you can find from a reputable brand, and for me, this was a really great deal for that reason. So the ANC is going to let me hear things better, but what do things on the Razer Hammered ANCs sound like? So the sound quality Razer itself describes it as more of a balanced type of tone with detailed and deep bass. I would agree with that statement most of the times. The one thing that I can't really agree with is the bass. It's not very deep. It's not going to have that kind of rumble. It's not going to have a kind of hit in your chest type of effect. So if you're listening to hip hop or something with a beat to it, it's not going to be the same experience as if you were using something like Beats or something like Bose, where they have a bit of a punch to it. Because of the flatter EQ settings, it's not really a drastic V, it's more of like a kind of a plateauing U. Uh, it's much better for listening to things that are more vocals based, and so for that reason I think it's great for some types of music. For me, personally, when I'm on the go, I don't care about music sound quality as much. I have headphones at home just for sound quality. When I'm on the go, I'm most of the time I'm listening to hip hop, and the lack of a strong bass is just a little bit disappointing for me. But because of the price and because of the good ANC, I would say it's still worth it for me. And when I'm listening to things that are not as heavy on the beat, and it's more like, so things like Ed Sheeran, Shawn Mendes, Bruno Mars, that type of stuff, it sounds a lot better than a lot of its competitors at a similar price range because it doesn't emphasize the bass as much. But when you're looking for that type of bass, that rumbling deep punch in your guts type of bass, these are not what you're looking for. So all of this right now has been a pretty positive note and that's because I think these are pretty good earbuds, but there is one problem that I think is really important, and that is firmware. Let me explain a bit more. There's not that many products, phones that are supported by Razer in terms of its firmware. And I don't know if this is specifically a problem with LG phones, but I've tried it on two LG phones so far. One of them is the G8 and the second one is the V35, and they both have very similar issues. Whenever I have, whenever it's in my pocket and I run, or it shakes and the plug is shaking a little, it automatically just disconnects. I have to re-plug it, and in worst case scenarios, sometimes it freezes my phone, I can't do anything on the screen, and then my phone reboots. I don't know if that's just a firmware problem, 
but it has been happening on two LG phones, two different LG phones, and so I have a feeling that it's just having so little devices supported. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the ANC feature pulling power from the phone, but something about it is freezing and shutting down my phones at a pretty random interval. Sometimes I can shake the phone for a long time, nothing will happen. But then out of the blue, I just tap the tip and it just freezes my phone and it restarts the whole device. If you have a phone that's supported by Razer, I have a feeling that this is not going to happen. But if you don't have a phone that's supported by Razer, this is a very big possibility for you. On a side note, another small defect on my device is after a couple months of use, the aluminum body on the ear buds itself, it starts to become a little bit shaky. It's not unibody. And so it's put together, and I think the glue or the way they put it together, it starts to get a little loose, and it's not that great. So. I bought these because of the industrial design and build quality. After six plus months of use, the build quality is just not where I need it to be. So in conclusion guys, the Razer Hammered USB-C ANCs, these have not been getting a lot of coverage on the news when they came out and even now. A lot of products, like the original Google Pixel, that had a lot of coverage when it came out. And even now, like there's videos where like, using the original Google Pixel in 2020. That means the product holds up, maybe not to today's products, but it was a fantastic product when it came out. But Razer's USB-C ANCs, they're just not on par with a lot of other products. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you really liked it, please click the subscribe button down below and make sure to click the bell icon as well.